Dear students, I am Father Thomas P.J., Assistant Professor, Department of Applied Electronics and Instrumentation, Rajagiri School of Engineering and Technology. Today, let's discuss on the topic Sodium Analyzer. Sodium analyzers are mainly used in thermal power plants for the determination of sodium ion concentration in the boiler water. The analysis of sodium is important because the excess of sodium will corrode the material in which it is passing. The important salt of sodium that will cause the corrosions are sodium hydroxide, sodium chloride and sodium sulfate. This analysis is also helpful for the detection of leakage in the condenser. The leakage can be detected by measuring the concentration of sodium in steam and in the condensate. If the two measurement gives the same value of sodium concentration, then that indicates there is no leakage in condenser. If the values are different, then that indicates the leakage in the condenser. Sodium analyzer consists of overhead tank for storing the sample, standard solutions for calibrating the instrument, three-way solenoid valves for allowing either sample or the standard solution, ammonia buffer for pH adjustment, reference and sodium ion specific electrode for concentration measurement, amplifier and indicator. Normally, the electrodes measure the activity of ions. That is, the potential developed by the electrode is actually proportional to the logarithm of the ionic activity. The activity is a measure of the free ions in the solutions, but our interest of study is to measure the concentration of the solution. That means both the free ions and the bound ions give the concentration. So to measure the concentration, the bound ions must be freed from adding reagent with it. The addition of reagents not only liberates the bound here, sodium ions, but also prevents the unwanted ions from entering into measurement. The sodium selective electrode provides good response in the measurement of sodium ion in buffered solutions having the pH value of above 10. This pH value could be achieved by adding ammonia buffer solutions with the sample. The sample which is to be analyzed is maintained in the constant head tank. The sample is then allowed to reach the flow cell where the reference and ion selective electrodes are placed. The sample flow can be controlled by three-way solenoid wall. The concentration of the sodium ion is measured with the help of electrodes. The output of the electrode is in terms of potential, which is proportional to the logarithm of sodium ion concentration in the sample. The potential value is amplified and it can either be indicated or recorded. Let's take a look inside this analyzer following the sample flow path. The sample enters and fills a constant head chamber that stabilizes the pressure and flow through the rest of the analyzer. The sample then flows through diffusion tubing within the reagent container where it absorbs reagent vapor through the tubing wall. The reagent raises the sample pH to prevent interference and assure a low level sensitivity. The pH adjusted sample flows to the sodium and pH electrodes for measurement. The pH electrode confirms that the sample pH has been adequately raised. Finally. The sample overflows to drain, 
An air pump supplies a steady stream of bubbles to provide mixing around the sodium electrode. The Thornton 2300NA sodium analyzer provides unattended automatic calibration, a valuable, time-saving capability. Starting the auto calibration sequence, the valve at the left stops the sample flow. At the same time, the two calibration valves on the right energize to fill the fixed volume of tubing between them with calibration standard solution, with excess solution going to drain. The two calibration valves then de-energize to push the small volume of calibration standard into the electrode chamber where it is diluted for calibration. Additional precise amounts of standard solution are added by repeated energizing of the calibration valves. Measurements are taken after each addition. Using these multiple standard additions and measurements, the analyzer is fully calibrated without any action required by an operator. The efficiency of system can be improved in two ways. There are standardization and cleaning process. Standardization is the process of calibrating the instrument to read the correct value. The process starts by activating a three-way solenoid valve to stop the sample flow and to allow the standard sodium ion solution into the flow cell. When the electrodes have stabilized in the new solution, the amplifier output is compared with the standard value. If there is any deviation between the standard and measured value, the output is adjusted to read the same standard value. After the standardization, the solenoid valve is adjusted to allow the sample solution for the measurement. Cleaning of the electrode is very important because after the usage of the electrode for a particular time period, the electrode surface gets the deposition of the unwanted materials in the solution and it affects the sensing capability of electrode. So for the accurate measurement of the sodium ion, it is necessary to, de to deposit off the electrode. Spray nozzle, brush or acoustical means can be used for cleaning the electrodes. The cleaning process not only gives the accuracy, it also provides long life for the electrode. Thank you and all the best.